Being held hostage through your phone or computer by a cyber attacker, it sounds like the plot of a movie. But the reality is it's happening every day and often only ends when ransom's paid. Here to help us better understand a new Internet Security Threat Report, Kevin Haley. He's the director of Semantic Security Response. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. Exactly what's in the report that should concern us? Well, these type of uh, ransomware attacks, we call them digital extortion, they doubled uh, from the year before and they continue to grow. Essentially, attackers take your computer hostage, they lock up your files and they won't give them back unless you pay them a ransom, usually somewhere between $300 and $500. How do the cyber attackers get onto our machines and um, are they targeting uh, particular groups or organizations or individuals? No, they're going after everybody. They want to get on as many machines as they can. That makes it more profitable for them. About 3% of people will actually pay the ransom. And they're doing it in a number of ways, but the most popular one is through email. Sending you an email with an attachment and trying to fool you into clicking on that attachment. Mm -hmm. Click on the attachment, you've infected your computer, and they start to take over. What about our smartphones and using social media sites? Are there threats emerging in those areas? Sure, there are threats in those areas as well. Uh, generally, we see a lot of scams going through social media and on phones and some malware as well. You're surrounded by your friends, um, so it's not surprising that you're a little easier to fool, especially if you think something is coming from your friend. Mm -hmm. You're more likely to click on it. Bad guys take advantage of that. So how can we protect ourselves and our devices if some of these tricks from the cyber criminals are believable? What do we do? Yeah. Well, there's three things really. One, think before you click or before you tap on that phone. If something seems wrong, it probably is. Don't click on that attachment. Don't click on that link. Uh, use good security software. You're going to need some help. It's a complicated area. And finally, back up your files. If somebody gets on your machine, holds your files hostage, and you've got a backup of it, you can just laugh at them. Restore those files, they won't get your money. Mm -hmm. uh, are people, you said what, 3% of people are paying ransom, so what if you end up falling prey to these cyber criminals? Do you recommend that, especially if the files being held are precious? No, we're, we're not recommending it. Understand you may have emotional attachment to those files, they're your pictures, they're important information for your business, but you're only feeding the criminals. And you may not get your files back. In some cases you will, in other cases they'll try to extort another three, five hundred dollars out of you and, and you'll never get that key to unlock those files. Is there anything you can do with law so the, enforcement then? You, yeah, you certainly let law enforcement know they're aware of this problem, they're going after the bad guys, but there's a lot of them and they're coming after us. So the best thing you can do is not get it on your computer in the first mm -hmm. place, Protect yourself. Don't let it get on. Well, it's, you mentioned software earlier. What do you recommend and why? Well, I'm going to recommend a good security software for your computer. Hope it's the Norton product. We think that's one of the best. Um, we are specifically looking for these types of threats. We've got a task force that every day is trying to figure out how to stop those from getting on machines. So they're going to help. You need to do your part. Don't get fooled clicking on those attachments. And of course, as I said, back up. Mm. You, it's a perfect way to protect yourself. It's a changing world. Uh, Kevin, is there one website where our viewers can learn more um, about this study, about these threats? Sure, you can go up to our website, norton.com. There's a lot of great information on how to protect yourself there. We'll do it, Kevin. Thanks for your time today. My pleasure. Mike, over to you. Thank you, Mary.